everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Jill. Today we are going to start painting babies. First kit that I revealed to you is the Cali kit and she is who I will be working on today. Today we're just gonna do warming layers. I am taking Shaylin Maxwell's A to Z Reborn course. And if you don't know who Shaylin is, she is an amazing reborn artist who does prototypes often. So I am really excited to be learning under her. Shout out to Shaylin. So I have my laptop right here and I'll be following along to her modules and I'm so excited. It sounds like so much fun. Oh yeah, as you can see, I've got this Cali head here, but this is gonna be my practice vinyl because they had to send me another head because this one has some red mark on it. I don't know what it is, but I can't get it off. So I think the first step is I have to go wash my kit, right? So without further ado, let's make a baby. warming layer so now I just have to go bake it in the new wave oven okay I've got my vanity light on cuz it's getting dark outside now um, so hopefully that doesn't bug you guys but I just finished my first layer and everything looks good except I didn't notice until I pulled her out of the oven. Her chin right there, you can see there's some not blended parts. Hopefully it doesn't really show once we do everything else to her, but um, let's go ahead and do our second warming layer. It's so dark, it's so dark out here in space. And it's been so long, been so long since I've seen a face. So I just completed her second warming layer and just finished baking her and as you can tell here's my little test vinyl head and you can see she's a little bit warmer and now I just have one more warming layer and that will be enough for tonight. You guys it's been like four hours since I started this and I've only done two warming layers. <laughs>
I'm gonna serve you a pizza pie. Would you like uh, some parmesan or some pepper flakes on your pepperoni pizza? I don't know why that took me so long <laughs> and why I'm so exhausted. I literally just went dab, 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 dab. I feel like I have to definitely practice with the sponges and like the consistency of the paint thinner and when you dab it on the sponge because I feel like I can kind of see some um like I don't know what like paint marks or something not like brush strokes but just like maybe there's too much liquidiness blah 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 too much liquid on the sponge. I don't know because I kept trying to squeeze out my sponge because it just felt like too much paint. It wasn't picking up any paint. It was just leaving it on there. I don't know if that's the point but I felt like it wasn't helping so I kept trying to squeeze out my sponge. And what's the point of having to dab the paint on the sponge first? before you do it because then I would squeeze it out and I was like well if I'm squeezing out then I shouldn't be dabbing it with paint but I don't know what kind of like texture if it's a texture thing like a blending thing like you should do that I don't know maybe I'm screwing everything up when I squeeze out the sponge it just felt like there was so much like paint and then also I keep getting little like brush hairs on the doll and it seems like the doll might have like a random little tiny black speck here or there that I can't remove. I don't know what kind of effect that has on like your doll if you're gonna sell it if you have to like take the price off because there's this tiny little black speck that you can't get off. And I don't know if I was supposed to like wash all my paint brushes first. No one told me to do that but maybe that's what I'm supposed to do so that I don't get like brush hairs on my doll. The little brown spot on her chin is like non-existent now you can't even really tell that that's there the three warming layers kind of already gives the skin dimension like i feel like i can see the three different colors playing like an undertones type of dimensional trick on my eyes which is kind of cool but i also don't know if maybe it's not supposed to be like that it's supposed to be blended so much they can't even tell that i don't know guys but I had fun today. It was a good first day reborning. And I have my new wave oven out on the front porch, so my neighbors probably are like, oh my gosh, that girl has doll parts. What is she doing with all those baby doll parts? I'm about to freak out the neighborhood. <laughs> well, thank you so much for hanging out with me today while I painted my baby. And if you guys want to hang out with me more while I continue to paint my baby, then be sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you so much, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye!